Hi, it's Sam from Intrinsic Dev. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to set up our Netio driver for Control 4. Before we do that, head over to the Netio website. That's netio-products.com. Go to the Support tab, click Download, and in the Download section, grab the Netio Discover application for Windows. This will scan your network and give you the IP address of all the Netio devices currently connected. So you can see here we've got my Netio set up. It's a Netio 4 device, and it's currently on IP ending 153. If I click that, it'll take us to the web page for the Netio device. The default sign-in for a Netio device is admin and admin. Once in the device, we suggest you change the username and password and set a static IP address for the device. What we will need to set is the M2M API protocols. So if we go to there, we then select the JSON API. We need to click enable JSON API. We also need to enable the read write section of that page. Um, we're going to put a username and password in. For this demonstration, I'm going to use admin and admin. The unit will restart while it's doing that. We'll show you how to set the driver up in Composer. When in Composer, we go to the driver tab. We go to add or update driver. We're going to add in our Netio Pro driver. We then go over to the search tab and we're going to search for Netio. And there we go, top hit, Intrinsic Dev Netio Pro, double click to install. Once it's installed, we're going to enter the IP address, which is 192.168.1.153. Hit set. We're then going to put in our username and password. And that should be the driver configured. Once we wait to see if the licensing has been set, the licensing has come through correctly. So we can now go to the Connections tab. And we'll see here that the Netio device has four relay connections. These will work like any other relay in the C4 system and can be used to turn off and on the IEC outputs on the back of the Netio device. Depending on the Netio device you have, you may not have the full four relay outputs. Obviously, if you've only got a single output Netio, Relay 1 is the only relay that will be effective for you. If you've got the Netio Pro driver, there's some additional options we can do under the Programming tab. So if we go to Programming, and we go over to the Netio Pro, we'll see here that there are uh, some device-specific commands. So these include a toggle output, which is quite handy, uh, and a restart output. So the restart output pauses after power off for several seconds before powering the outlet back on again to ensure a clean power cycle of the device. Obviously, if you're using the Netio device to restart network equipment, especially network equipment that may be used to control the device itself, um, you would not be able to send the on command back after you've sent the off command. So the restart command allows you to get around this. So you can actually use Netio to cycle the equipment that it is connected to, provided it, its mains connection remains in place. The other options we have in here are under the programming column. So if we go to Netio and we hit the expand button, and we'll see here we can we have the frequency model, um, names, power factors, and states are all written to control four variables. So if you need to, you can actually read those out or you can do custom programming based on those variables, um, but they're all there for you to use. And say, so just to remind you, this is a feature of the Netio Pro driver. The Netio Basic driver, which is free of charge, just gives the basic relay control from the connections tab. Hope you've enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching.